Hello and welcome to Maximum Muscle Report. I'm getting very close to the Figure International at the Arnold Classic. It is next weekend and I am here doing my posing practice. This is actually my suit that I have worn many times. I love the color green. It seems to be my best color, but I'm actually going to wear a different suit. It's not a color that's too far off of green, but it's going to be different. <laughs> uh, what I like to do when I practice my posing is I like to practice really slow, really in control. And uh, one thing that I'm going to, I'm going to run through my routine a few different times uh, from, a, you know, through different spots. I'm, I'm going to be close. I'm going to be a little bit far away. And one thing that you will really notice is even though it appears that I have really big uh, expressive movements, if you pay attention to my footing, you will notice that I keep my feet really, really close so that I can maintain my shapes throughout my poses. And the, the smaller the base that you create is, the more control you have of the rest of your body. And I think that one of the things that people can do to get themselves kind of stumbled up a little bit is taking big giant steps when they turn, when they move. And, um, and here I am, I'm gonna go through, I think I'm gonna go through my quarter turns here. So I start from the ground up to open up into my front pose. And then uh, when I turn, I keep my feet really close, make sure that the shape stays really tight because I consider every moment to be a moment of opportunity. I keep my, my footing really, really tight. Um, I go over all of these, these little details. I go over them in detail, detail, detail with my recent product that I launched, polishedpresentation.com. In my product, I actually have a posing index where I show all the poses, the shapes that you wanna create. There's also a series of instructional videos where I go over how to set up each pose, uh, how to do all the little things, the walking, the turning. I even have a stage makeup tutorial and I have, you know, how to create your own look and all that good stuff. But, you know, some, some things that I want to share right now with you are the result of many attempts in which I, I fell, I stumbled on stage, I didn't create the pose that I thought I was creating, I would do what I thought I look a certain certain type of way and then I would look at the pictures and it didn't so I have basically had many trials many errors some successes and all of it has resulted to where I currently am at um, here I'm gonna go through my posing routine again I like to practice from both sides because depending on the show that you do, you actually never know what side of the stage you're gonna come from, so it's good to practice both sides. If you practice on one side all the time, sometimes you might get to the show and you enter the stage on the opposite side and then you go, oh, whoops, I never practiced on this side. And it's not a big deal, but I just like to make sure that I have all my T's crossed and all my I's dotted. Um, again, really notice the footing that my feet stay super close. I'm just shifting basically and it looks a lot bigger than it is. And I'm shifting my weight back and forth, making sure the shapes are always on point, always there. You can relax the, the whole rest of your body, but the core and the lower back, you, you wanna really keep that on point. When it comes to setting up the back pose, I find that it is so important to make sure that you set up from the ground up and not hit the back until you are fully set up from the ground up. Um, I see a lot of people jump right into it and um, it's really important because that setup really gets you to the place that you want to be. Of course when you're walking off stage you're still on stage so I like to keep that in mind. 